Hello Capricorn, welcome back to Triple Wait. <laughs> Truth with Tarot, my name is Lynn and today I'm gonna do you I'm gonna do you reading for February. Um past, present, or future. See what happened in the past, see what you're currently deal dealing with, and I can't talk. And what's coming up for the future, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm hearing five. Number five, that's a lot. That's a big number. Okay, so five shuffles. One. All right, so right off the bat, what are you dealing with? Or what were you dealing with? Your ancestors. That's what came out. And breakthrough. So some type of truth or clarity in the past, okay? So I'm hearing four more shuffles. So let's go ahead and do it. Four. We have three more. Three. Two, and then one more shuffle. Okay. So, in the past position, what were you dealing with? <clears throat> Jeez, these cards are flying out. Okay. Hold on. Let me... Okay. Slow down. All right. So, in the past position, what were you dealing with? Capricorn. Sun, moon, or rising. All right, so you were dealing with loss. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so that would be the equivalent of the Five of Cups or the Death card. Something ended. So some type of loss. Um, I'm hearing maybe a death. Maybe the end of something. Whatever it was, it was a loss. And I'm hearing you lost your sense of self through this situation or this person. Um, yeah, you got too attached. That's what I'm hearing, okay? <clears throat> so, your current energy or what you're currently dealing with has to do with Death, wow. Ooh, so you lost somebody um, somebody dear to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Capricorn, I can't talk. Um, <clears throat> wow, so you're currently dealing with a death or the end of something. It doesn't have to be a physical death. It can be the end of something. So in the past, you dealt with loss. And now you're dealing with you're dealing with death. So another loss. Wow, that's tough. But that's the card that came out. All right. So in the near future, ooh, okay, that one came out. Has to do with creating your own space. Okay, that's good. So <clears throat> that's a lot of loss. I mean, in the past there was loss. You're currently dealing with the death or another loss. So in the near future, you're going to have to create space. That's the card that came out. <clears throat> so that means, yeah, you're going to have your own space. You are going to have to have your own space, maybe your own room. Um, a place that you can call your own. Where you don't have to hear anyone or see anyone. Like seriously, <clears throat> you can be alone. And you can do whatever you want. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So yeah, in the near future, <clears throat> you're going to have to create space. Okay. And then what does the Lies to Your Sarah have to say about this? Okay, let's see. All right, let's go to five again. And then right off the bat, I split the deck up. And I'm getting the King of Cups. So you could be <clears throat> dealing with a male water sign. 
Um, somebody that just makes you happy. Very mature. Um, yeah, I'm hearing emotionally balanced. So that could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And then <clears throat> the Ace of Swords came out for you. So you're going to get a new idea. Or somebody is going to give you a new idea. Whatever it is, it's something new. And it has to do with your mind. So, new thought or new idea, okay? So, I'm here with five shovels again. So, let's go ahead and go to five. One. Two. better for <clears throat> even though these cars don't want it there we go almost there we go last one okay <clears throat> so about this loss in the past what about it Um, ooh, the hermit. Okay, so you, Capricorn, had to retreat. Yeah, you had, you dealt with a loss, and the hermit, number nine, <clears throat> came up for you. So, yeah, you had to retreat, and you had, you needed your space. And what I'm seeing is you went into caveman mode. <clears throat> I don't know what that means, but that's what I heard. Yeah, so the hermit came out for you. Um, you just wanted to be left alone. And you had to do some soul searching. Okay? All right. So the current energy is the death card. So what about this death? Wow, okay, so the magician number one came out. So from this death, physical or metaphorical, it can be another loss, <clears throat> came out the magician. So from this loss, there's going to be a new beginning and there's going to be opportunity for growth. Hence, the magician. So, there's going to be gain from this loss. So, something is going to come up for you, Capricorn. And basically, yeah, you're going to start over. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So, for the future outcome, create space. You need your own space. You need to be left alone. So, what is the message for you? Wow, that's a lot of loss. Five of Cups, yep. <clears throat> that is the loss card, literally, like from the past. That is the death card or a Scorpio card. The death card, literally, meaning rebirth <clears throat> or renewal or something has to end for something else to pop up. So in the near future, yeah, you're going to be still be grieving. Five of Cups, meaning loss or regret. Or you're still dealing with something, some type of loss. And yeah, you are going to want to be left alone. So in the near future, yeah, you're going to have to create your own space. Where you can go in and just grieve. Do whatever you want. You don't have to see anyone. You don't have to hear anyone. You can be left alone. Okay? So that's what came up for you, Capricorn. 
um, for the near future. So, single Capricorns, what is your love story or goal message? I'm hearing five again, so I'm getting just right off the bat. Whatever that you see, the number five. That's what I'm hearing. So interference. And, ooh, soul connection. So that's the two that popped up. Okay, so here's the first shuffle. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay. So, <clears throat> what is your love story message for those single Capricorns? <coughs> Longing. Okay. So, those of you who are currently single or not attached, you're going to be going through some longing. You don't know what it is. You don't know what it's for. Some, some of you may not be able to identify it, but you can feel it. There's going to be a longing for someone or something. Maybe for home. Who knows? But yeah, <clears throat> that's a card that came out for you. Longing. So for those Capricorns who are currently attached and involved, here's your love story oracle message. Ooh, true love. Nice. So <clears throat> let me put this back. So whoever you're currently involved with or attached to <clears throat> Or whoever you are going to be attached to or involved with in the near future. This is true love. That's a card that came out for you, Capricorn. True love. So this person is going to make your heart sing with joy. So I'm hearing just go with it. Because this is true love, okay? This person is going to have something valuable to offer you so just go with it okay so i hope this helped you in some way and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like share comment and subscribe and i will talk to you soon